In 2018, the film Black Panther broke box office records. It grossed $1.3 billion and became the top grossing superhero film of all time in the U.S. It also catapulted its cast to new levels of stardom, including Winston Duke, who plays M'Baku, the leader of the Jabari tribe. And now he is in the franchise's action-packed sequel. It's called Black Panther Wakanda Forever, as Wakanda must defend itself against a rival kingdom. Oh. Winston. Winston, we have been waiting Winston. for this film. I know everyone asks yes. you. Has, yes. has everybody asked you? For the last four years, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, every so, day. You know what? Way. This is yeah. where you can tell the truth. It's so, okay. Really? We're here for you. Just yes. pretend this is like a therapy so, couch. This is where I'm going to break the news. <laughs> this is where. Why not? Okay. Okay. So the Who next is Black Panther is Steve Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that would really raise some eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, it's Steve we Harvey. We love us with Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah. How, so this has been, this has taken you to such a new level. And I was just thinking back, you, you just started acting when you were 30 years old. How, how old are you now? Uh, I didn't start acting at 30. I got my the first big, big, yeah, break. big first break. Which was, it, which was this I, film. I, yes, it was this film was the first film. But I actually got my start on TV doing, you know, Kling yeah. Kling. Yeah. You know, the, uh, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Law and Order was my first thing I'd ever done. And uh, Black Panther was like the first movie. How did Black Panther come to be? I mean, that is obviously one of the, the most coveted movies, coveted roles. Did they come knocking on your door? Did you audition? In a, in a certain way. So I auditioned over the span of maybe three months. And you never know exactly what you're auditioning for with Marvel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep everything <laughs> under lock and key. So it was like untitled Marvel project. Okay. And they gave Gave you a fake, you know, audition piece, not from the script. Oh. So I'm just going and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. There's no <laughs> script. I don't know who I'm doing this for. And then, like, a month later, they're like, Ryan Coogler wants to meet with you. Wow. And I'm like, I know what this <laughs> is. You know what I mean? Because it's it's been this big thing from the Comic-Cons. Yeah, of that. course. Yes. And then, you know, I get my screen test with Chadwick Boseman. And we, like, wow. you know, that's the first time mm. I met him. And that's when it all kind of took off. So this pre the premiere is this week. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. In in New York and obviously I think Chadwick Boseman mm -hmm. will be on everybody's yeah. minds mm -hmm. and yes. hearts. Yes. How how do you guys create the sequel that feels new and fresh but also pays tribute to this person that I know you all loved? Well, we had no choice. We had no choice but for it to one pay tribute to a dear friend that mm. we lost. Dear friend, you know, a husband, a, a brother, uh, a, a a colleague mm -hmm. in so many ways. Um, and, you know, because of that loss, it had to shift the entire prepared yeah. narrative. We yeah. were about uh, weeks away from shooting mm. when we learned of his passing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so everything shifted. Um, and, you know, we gathered, we supported each other, and something really beautiful came out of it. Something really beautiful that also represented the last three years of everybody's life mm. because we've all been, you know, yeah. through COVID and pandemic, we've all lost. We've all had like a lot of pain and it's a movie about that. It's a movie about grief. It's a movie about overcoming. It's a movie about like what next, you know? Mm. And That's how do you get there? It seems yeah. like perfect timing. It yeah. does, yeah, definitely yeah. does. Eerily so. So, Winston, I'm, I'm just watching you and I'm thinking about your career once again. And I'm wondering, like, who was the first person when you started acting who said, Winston, you got, you got something special. <laughs> yeah, we, see, you, yeah, yeah, we you. see it. Who was the first person who really believed that you could make it? Oh, my God. You know, it's hard to attribute just one because it was so many people. And it's, it's you know, it, it goes back to that it takes an island. You know, it was first my uh, Spanish teacher in uh, high school. And then several acting teachers along the way, an acting teacher named Greg Natale in, in Buffalo, mm -hmm. another acting teacher that's a really well-known actor here in New York as well. His name is Stephen Henderson. Mm -hmm. And it was people like that when I was a young, kind yeah. of awkward, yeah. uh, tall guy. Um, mm -hmm. And I would I had so much insecurity around, like, what the future is going to be. And I mm -hmm. said, you know, I don't, I don't know what it's going to be, and it's going to be so hard and, you know, uh, it makes it so hard for me to, to would make it so hard for me to make it. And, you know, Stephen Henderson said to me, you know, all the things that you're worried about are all the things I think make you beautiful. Mm. 
All oh the things that God. you're worried about are all the things I think are going to change your life for the better and going to make it you break through. Mm. And it was that recognition at that time. Did you believe it at that time? Did Hell you? no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is he talking now? about? Do you believe it? Oh, yes. Yeah. The world has shown it to me. And, and my future has, you know, my future at that time became my present. And it was all those things that well, came out. You, you're an incredible human being. And I love that you brought your sister. Yes. Your oh, dear yeah. sister, yeah. who's hiding in the, in the <laughs> yes. shadows. But we know how to spin a camera <laughs> yes, around. we do. Oh, yes. oh. You know what? Dr. Cindy Duke. Come on, Dr. Dr. Duke. Duke. Dr. Duke, wow. MD, PhD. We're happy you're here with us. Thank you for spending some time with us today. And who is the Black Panther? You just real quick. <laughs> just yes. tell us. Go ahead. No, I mean, it's Steve <laughs> oh, Harvey. Steve Harvey. Yeah, I really oh, mean it. Black right. Panther Black Wakanda. Black Panther has a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda forever is in theaters nationwide today.